Um, quite a few years ago, I went through that alone. It was like I was so invisible that God didn't even know I existed. Yes. And I stayed with that, and then it was like I was hiding from God. And then to know that that was not so was hysterical, and I burst out laughing and laughing. Yeah. But yet, I'm wondering, is there another cause? Because I still am afraid of being shunned or rejected or not seen. So it seems like all of that would have gone in that instant, but it's not. And this is the thing to understand about core emotion. If the core emotion that, you've dealt, that you feel you're dealt with is the cause of your life, then instantly your life will change. But if the core emotion is, is deeper than that or has more facets to it, it, your life will not change. So that your law of attraction tells you straight away whether you have actually released the core emotion or not. So the answer obviously for yourself is, no, there's more to this core emotion. And maybe you burst out laughing just at the time that there was something deeper there. Because often that is the case where we revert to humour in order to cover over an emotion as well. So, so allow yourself to just experiment and pray about that a little more and, and allow yourself to dig a bit deeper into that. And it may not be related to God, but you may find that it's related to you and how you view you. And in fact, you'll find many of your emotions will actually be related to how you view yourself rather than how other people view you. For example, if a lot of this, like, I'm unlovable, I'm, basically what I'm doing when I'm saying that, you know, I'm unlovable, there's this projection coming out of me as, you don't love me to the world. If I'm unlovable, then there's a projection coming out of me, you don't love me. Now, there's, a, there's also an emotion inside of me, a deep emotional belief inside of me that I am totally unable to be loved. Does that make sense? And that will be under the I'm unlovable emotion. So I'm unlovable can actually finish up being a capping emotion. And underneath the I'm unlovable is there's something so bad or wrong with me that I'm actually unable to be loved. So even if... Even if like somebody could love me, they can't because I'm unable to be loved. Right? So there's some really deep causal emotions. So you may find that there's these layers of some of these really deep core emotions that you need to dig deeper into. It's your law of attraction that tells you that it's not done yet. As soon as your law of attraction changes, you know, ah, I've, I've dealt with a fair bit there now. You know, I can feel my law of attraction changing. Everything's starting to be different. So that means I'm getting to the core of this now. I'm really getting to the underlying emotion now. If my law of attraction isn't changing, then it means that I'm yet to really pinpoint the underlying emotion. So more prayer about it, you know, more longing to God about giving you the answers about what's going on. And of course, if, if I'm not, get, not getting to a core, then usually it means that I do not want to yet get to the core. So there's usually fear associated with the core. So, for example, I've gone through the emotion that I am unable to be loved by my soulmate. It's just like she's never going to love me. And then in, a, in that emotion, I found a lot of basic core emotions. One of the core emotions that I dealt with even just recently was she won't be able to love me because the other times that she's loved me, I was perfect. Now I'm not perfect. She's not going to be able to love that. Does that make sense? So that was one facet of that emotion. And there are other facets of that emotion that I need to work through. Okay. So they're all beliefs about myself in the end that I'm projecting onto my soulmate. That I'm saying she will have this feeling when in fact Mary doesn't have that feeling, it's me who has that feeling. <laughs>